Are you cruising on the Liberty of the Seas soon and wondering what there is to do on board? Well, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Jackson Jetsing on another cruise video. If you are into these types of videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. We're gonna check out everything there is to do on board the Liberty of the Seas, currently sailing out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida on three and four night voyages. So first let's check out on the deck. We have the Perfect Storm, which are a series of water slides that are above the big activities and sports deck on board the Liberty of the Seas. So over to the left, you have the Tidal Wave, which is unique to the Liberty of the Seas. It's a boomerang style quarter pipe slide that you ride with two people on a tube. Super fun, kind of short, but uh, that was my favorite slide on the ship. Um, and then over to the right is the Perfect Storm. So you have Typhoon and Cyclone. Uh, I prefer the green slide. It was a little bit faster. It seemed like a lot of adults were kind of getting stuck in the slide, funny enough. Uh, you also have the rock climbing wall right, right there that has many sessions during the day. Uh, so a lot of activities going on here at this part of the ship. The hours for the slides can vary uh, and also those lines can get long on sea days when everyone else is stuck on the ship. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, maybe try early in the morning or later in the afternoon or during those port days. And then of course we have the Flow Rider, which is famous on board the Royal Caribbean ships. Uh, the one on the Liberty of the Seas during my voyage was only half working, so I didn't actually end up trying it out, but I usually do at least one session of boogie boarding while on board. Down one deck below this, same aft part of the vessel. You have a few ping pong tables and board games that are built into the deck. I didn't see any pieces for those board games out there. Uh, they might be out at certain times of the day and I just didn't luck into uh, seeing them out. Uh, not as extensive of a ping pong area as something like the Majestic Princess, which was built for the Chinese market, which had tons of ping pong tables out there, which is pretty cool uh, and actually dedicated ping pong courts. So if you were um, into ping pong, maybe check out that ship tour on my channel. And if you're looking for shuffleboard, it is on board the ship. It's this down on the promenade deck, uh, I believe on deck four. Nearby is the kids clubs area. And of course there's gotta be the Adventure Ocean Arcade right in between all of them. Lots of fun games here. They had that multi-puck air hockey table that I really like. Uh, they have a lot of fun games that you could find at like your local Dave & Buster's. These do cost money, but you can actually give your kids uh, an allotment uh, arcade credit uh, in case you're worried about them just mowing through dollars uh, first night of the vacation. Uh, you can definitely set limits on them. Some of the games do earn tickets or prizes, so you can focus on those as well and earn a little bit of something for the money that you're spending. Another activity that people love to do is jog and walk on the top deck here. I felt like the jogging track was pretty great. Uh, our voyage was sold out pretty much, but I felt like you always had room uh, to jog or walk on the running path. A lot of times on ships, it kind of weaves in and out of different deck chairs areas, and it just becomes a huge mess if you're trying to run. You're constantly dodging people that have plates of food or drinks, especially on those busy sea days. Probably wouldn't re recommend doing that on the sea days, but uh, there it is. There's a nice little kid splash area there with a smaller slide in case they're not big enough for the tidal wave. And then the main activities pool, which does have a screen, but it was broken on my voyage. Hopefully will be fixed uh, on the next dry dock. Now, all the activities I've shown you so far are free. Uh, there are of course some paid activities on board. You have bingo that seemed to happen almost every day with the grand prize drawing uh, for bingo happening on the last sea day. So that's always a big and major attraction. So keep that in mind if that's something that you're into. Uh, of course, there are a lot of other free activities indoors. Uh, we'll show you some of the venues and activities there, but I love to play trivia and there's lots of trivia rounds each day, especially on those sea days. Uh, or if you're staying on board during one of the ports, uh, you can instead just uh, stay on board and play a bunch of trivia, which they had probably three or four per day. This ship also has a solarium, which is adults only. So that's what that looks like. Uh, some of the other Royal Caribbean ships actually have the solarium covered, uh, but this one is open air. And then there is also the mini golf course here, Liberty Dunes. It's a nine hole golf course, uh, similar to other Royal Caribbean ships. I've noticed that they kind of mimic designs uh, from ship to ship, uh, but I love a good mini golf game. And so you can uh, definitely play that on board with your loved ones. 
now we're walking through the solarium uh, just one deck below where we just were. So it just gives you a little look uh, at what you have on the solarium side. So you have some chairs in the sun, but then a lot of chairs in the shade here. And then you have these awesome cantilevered hot tubs. That's a really popular spot and really cool, unique feature uh, that are on board the Freedom class vessels. And then this leads directly to the main pool deck, which has a lot more activities, uh, a lot more room for people to sunbathe, a little bit more open air. You do have the above deck shaded area in case you do wanna spend some time outdoors but not be in the direct sunlight. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of foot traffic though going back and forth. And then if you're into scuba diving, you can take some lessons on board and walk off the ship fully certified. You can do all your checkout dives in these awesome ports, so that is an option on board. As for other onboard activities, hidden in some of the stateroom decks, there is a card room. Uh, that wasn't open when I walked by, but it's basically just a board games area, cards and sort of those types of things. Uh, so that's always gonna be available to you. And then one deck below is actually the library, which I think is slowly getting rebuilt. I think they closed it during the reopening for COVID. Uh, so there weren't too many books on the shelves during my voyage, but I imagine that a lot of cruisers will start to leave more and more books as the voyages sail on. So the Star Lounge on board is where a lot of the activities at night happen. So you have kind of a what, who wants to be a millionaire style game. You have a lot of karaoke going on, that sort of thing. That all happens in the Star Lounge. A lot of seating though, it can get busy for some of the pop more popular things. One deck below is the Schooner Bar, which trivia happens here most times during the voyage. I love this bar. They have great bartenders, a lot of fun. And then it's located right next to the casino, which is not a free activity, but it's open when the ship is not in port. They have the casino going almost 24 seven, does close late at night, and then opens back up uh, the next morning. They do have a two story theater on board, the Platinum Theater. This is where your headliner acts and Broadway shows happen. So they do have Saturday Night Fever on board. Uh, it's a full length musical, so that's really cool. They also have Anchors Away, which is the parade that goes down the promenade. That had restarted since COVID, so that's pretty cool. And then rounding out the big entertainment venues on board, you have On Air, which is sort of a sports bar. There's a bunch of art for the art auctions on board. That's also technically a free activity that you can attend, but then the art costs something. Uh, so you also have karaoke going on in On Air. Uh, and then that leads into Studio B, which is the onboard ice skating rink. So they actually have ice skating on board uh, for open sessions, and then they actually have an ice skating show. So that's the activities on board the Liberty of the Seas.